welcome back to my videos and today is Monday July 14th 2008 and I've decided to go out to nature and enjoy this beautiful weather enjoy life and um, yesterday I <clears throat> wanted to talk about today it you always learn something new and yesterday I learned that Vera, Vera Newman who has been one of my favorite designers since I started collecting clothes um, that one of his family members still lives Vera Newman's brother son Fred Salaf who is a video producer um, he makes documentaries that's what he's done all his life he just came back from Panama and he basically found me through YouTube which is wonderful because you know um, we're always trying to find out new things and for more for about I would say 20 years well I would say about 18 years since I started collecting Vera um, it was so difficult to get in any information on on her family and her life um, it was actually through through me through my videos and through through talking to people for many many years I think it was for at least a decade uh, many of the the collectors didn't know anything about Vera so we all kind of kept in touch and and I did um, I said that I had a, a, a contract with Schiffer Books on creating this Vera Newman book and um, I did sign a contract but I wasn't getting paid for it to make the, 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 the book so basically naturally you know if I wasn't gonna get any money I wasn't gonna be able to make the book the way that I wanted to do because I wanted to do a beautiful high-end book and you know eight years ago um, you couldn't really do I think it today making books are really easy because you can just you know everything is digital you can up you can take your pictures and send them but you know uh, 10 years ago even um, it was so difficult to make a book because I had to hire I would have to hire a photographer to take all the pictures and send them to them and um, I think that today would be easier I just had a lot of problems when I signed the contract and even though that I was so excited it was really easy hard for me to get a photographer and you know I was really down um, I think it was the, the year that I was very very depressed so I basically just called Nancy Schiffer who owns Schiffer books with her husband Peter B Schiffer I think it's Peter Schiffer and um, I just said you know the consequences and I mean you know I said that I wasn't gonna be able to do the the book and um, and then that was it you know many years have passed and my collection has grown I now that I think back I think that um, in from reading a lot about Vera I think that I have something that you know I have a collection and there's a lot of collectors and they all reserve the respect but I think that I have an amazing collection that is worth seeing in a museum and yesterday when I was talking live on the phone with George with um, Fred Salaf who was Vera Newman's nephew because his his father was Vera Newman's um, brother and he we, we talked about an hour he was so excited to talk to me um, and and I was of course thrilled and excited that I was speaking to such a person who has such an amazing um, story to tell and I'm actually gonna meet him maybe this Wednesday when I'm in Hollywood and you know we're gonna share stories of um, my collection and um, it's so amazing that through YouTube he found my videos um, I think that he did a lot of research and from what he told me he said that he he even met the he has even went um, to see I think it I believe it's Sandra who owns 
the Vera company now and he went to meet her and um, the Vera company has an amazing website of course and I will be linking the website the Vera company website I will be linking his his um, link to where you can find the old Vera documentaries that he actually made when he used to work for her and his brother um, and he made like a short documentary in like in the early 70s I think it was 1971 when I was actually born that he was already making this documentary and it's so it reminds me so much of Grey Gardens um, it is live and raw footage of Vera in Tibet I think and then another one in the studio creating beautiful works of art and um, it was just so exciting and you know what this is going to be the beginning of a beautiful relationship not just with Fred Salaf because um, you know I appreciate my 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 elders my I appreciate every artist especially people who have done many more things than me and who have met beautiful people and who have been to beautiful places because I love life and um, life is sacred <clears throat> but I'm just so excited that it is a beautiful relationship between me and Fred Salaf that is about to start blooming and he will probably help me create the book or I'm going to help him create a book um, just on Vera alone, not my my you know not my entire history of, of of my collections, but of my vintage couture collections that I've been collecting for 20 years, but also um, that I will be probably in contact with the Vera company, which I think Sandra um, is the owner, and who and he, I think that she is more excited on Vera, the life that she had, of course her company as well as a designer, but I think it is all has to do with one thing, loving art. And money is no object when you love art. And I think that it is a wonderful thing that I come, up, come across designers and artists who are not interested in making money, they're interested in people, in people showing their art. Because as you can see in my website, in my MySpace, in my, all my, my Facebook and here, and my Truman Show, and like over 10 amazing websites where I have a lot of my stuff, um, that I don't sell anything. I've never, um, I don't sell anything. I don't sell, I don't, um, it, I just do it for the love of art. And um, I hope that this this inspires you. And this is my V blog for today. And have a wonderful Monday, July 2008.